prematurely killed to have this, like living on a basically tropical beach all year long. The sand is so nice here and the people beach is paying, really clean. People are paying like a thousand bucks a day to live in this hotel. We just walk around because they all have to know access to this beach. To this private beach. So, I think to get a sleep in. So if you notice, uh, especially me, and I have to wake up early, like half past six to the work. And we go sleep like at nine, half past nine. And we come like at home like half past seven, eight. So we pretty much finish eating and we go straight to bed. Take some time to fall asleep and then just wake up tired and, and it catches up. And then on the weekend you sleep very much till ten. half past nine. <laughs> no. Almost ten. So you can just see that you need a consistent, consistently like those solid 10 hours um, laying horizontal in a bad darkness. And like when we're coming out of the sea, like it was a little bit breeze. I just remember how cold it is in Europe and remember the reason why to come here. Mm -hmm. Exercise, like I enjoy it around like 25, mm -hmm. maybe 20 to 25. Mm -hmm. So, we are on a long drive Sunday. See the rubber trees around. So, the stop here eating mangoes and composting the trash. So just always choose new roads that when I've been to to explore. Thailand would be much better if there are like hiking roads. Like there are in, um, for example, if you go to Switzerland or Austria, it's marked so good. Even in Slovakia, like you have almost everywhere in the villages where to get. And here the hiking culture is just dead. Nobody's hiking here. Cycling culture, it's, it's rising, like we see more and more cycling shops and more cyclists on the roads, but hiking is too bad here. So we're just going to go. It's super steep, which is like 30% gradient. Super steep. I just, I just put 32 cassette the other day and it's impossible. Yeah, for 32 cassette it's just like... I mean, you can like see. It's like a wall, <laughs> and it's long. It was going. It's probably the biggest shit I've seen. One of the bottom line. Where's the biggest cog? Wind. So on top of the Phuket, almost at the end of the road, there's literally no cars coming. There's like one car on the bottom, so it's pretty much road for cyclists. So we are at the top. You can see the sea over here. This side, and also on that side. Logs everywhere. So just uh, going through the jungle, pretty much uh, saw a big snake on the road, almost stepped on it. It was huge. Uh, the bananas everywhere. So we're just defining the adventure with the GPS. It's so much easier now. Like, if we didn't have the GPS and Strava, like, we probably wouldn't go here because we wouldn't know like which way this road is going and if it's going somewhere. We are walking here because our brakes wouldn't take this, I would say 40% gradient, right? Something like that. So we're almost down, it's amazing, look at that. It's going to the jungle. Coconutty, coconutty, coconut nut tea. Cycling here in Phuket. We're at a waterfall, I'm not sure the name. I think you can walk around here, okay? The lake. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll be scared of leeches. Huh? I guess you can swim here. No, it says 300 meters. 300 meters is quite a lot. Look at those trees, huge. Is this it? <laughs> yeah, the water is pretty clear down here. I think you can swim here. Oh, there is the waterfall. Yeah, proper hiking starts now. So. Uh, Apparently this hike is going more, but we don't know where, so we're just finishing here, it's a waterfall. So these are all the snakes of this forest here. So there you got, you got even like cobras, king cobra here. Pitons.